Meantime, the Beto O'Rourke bandwagon moved at a blistering pace across a half dozen states and all 20 counties in New Hampshire. Without a day job to hold him back, the former El Paso congressman is completely free to unleash his earnest, high energy brand of grassroots ingratiation and a marathon blitzkrieg of progressive charisma. It's media appeal, which may prove difficult for many of his Democratic opponents to match, at least early on. Tony, who are you going to pick, <laughs> man? You like Beto? You like Julian? Well, let's get something clear. I'm on Team Julian, for sure, for sure. But I want the Democrats to have the best debates. Mm -hmm. I want them to come out with great issues. I love what Kamala was saying here in, at TSU. That was brilliant. Her approach is brilliant. Julian's got some great ideas. He's been on the cabinet. Don't get jealous, Houston. Next Saturday, Beto will be in town. There's a crawfish <laughs> boil at TSU at 4. There's a busload of students going in at 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. at TSU next Saturday. I will say this. I love yeah. to hear policies. <laughs> no stupid little nicknames. And at the end of the day, this, they put people first. Quickly, Lurie, I know you're not voting for either one of those guys, but do you think Beto, <laughs> Beto, <laughs> no. Beto gains steam? And I want to end with uh, Kira on this. Uh, well, it's interesting about Beto is that the more people learn about him, the, the less likely they're to vote for him. I it's call it peak true. Beto months and months before the Ted Cruz um, election. But he, he has this big, shiny nickel, you know, a shiny little quarter, and he's like, oh, look at me and my arms, and I, I make all <laughs> sorts of crazy statements. But when you really get into his actual policy and his actual substance, you can't find it. So once you see that he's kind of an empty no suit, border wall. you move Pretty into simple. Kamala Harris and that's why she's going to win the nomination. I'm still not voting for her. Here, your read on Beto. <laughs> uh, I think the jury's still out. You know, he's received some criticism mm -hmm. for lack of substance, lack of fleshing out of policies. But the bottom line is he's raising a lot of money, mm -hmm. he's drawing big crowds, and he's drawing a lot of interest from the media. Um, if he becomes the nominee, it will, because, will be because he's able to put meat on the bones of his candidacy mm -hmm. and become a better candidate over time. The Democrats have a large, deep, talented field of candidates this time, and whoever emerges as the nominee, mm -hmm. it's going to be because they get better and better as this goes along. Well said. All right.